It's that time again. It's time for you to pick how your team will go shaping the future or changing the past or just doing whatever the hell you want because that's what it is all about. It is one off what if here on Cornflakes Crib, your home of rugby challenge where you can do whatever you want here on this series. And welcome along, one and all, to this special request match. Aren't they all as ever? It is for Corey Jane 10. There we have this one, the Hurricanes versus the Chiefs. Seems we're here at Yarrow Stadium for this one, a popular choice of stadium at the moment. But since this was a special request for someone with a username Corey Jane 10, I thought it was a fairly special uh, addition to add Corey Jane into the match. Obviously, a big fan of the man, and rightly so, he's a super player. He is on the right wing and that is where the Hurricanes will be at their most dangerous on the wings, Severe on the left, Jane on the right, Smith and Bateman in the middle, Barrett, oh it's a good side as the Hurricanes as always, Andre Taylor, will he show up today, the forward pack is ever increasing with All Blacks with Jeremy Thrush, the Thrush now number four, gaining a recent cap to become yet another All Black representative in this Hurricanes side, but up against them is no mean feat because it's equally as good a team when you look through that back line and that forward pack you cannot I think these two sides are extremely evenly matched maybe the Chiefs have a slight edge maybe a slight edge but goodness me the Hurricanes are an explosive side the Chiefs are well exactly the same and it's going to come down to something special from that special someone who is going to be today? There's 30 men out there that will decide that for us. So it is the Hurricanes playing in the customary yellow against the Chiefs in their usual black here for a special one-off one-off match. Barrett kicks the ball off. Good kick from Bonham Barrett way off to the left. Piranara, the halfback, picks it up and then oh, just drops it straight away. And then the Chiefs repay the favour. Give it straight back to Barrett. He's through a little gap. And he will go all the way. What a try for Barrett. That is an outstanding start to the match for Bowdoin Barrett. Both sides making a mistake. The Hurricanes, look at that. Chiefs picked it up. Tried to pass it to a guy on the ground. Was that Vito pick it up, I think? But look at that angle. It was tight. Boy, oh boy, it was tight. Big super play from Barrett. That was outstanding. I didn't think you'd get there. Hanscom had his number to touch, but he just had enough. Wow, we what a start. That is a great play to get things underway here. 5 0, the Hurricanes lead, and Barrett will have a chance to make it 7. Here's his kick right out in front. Surely. Yep, surely he can miss it. Off to the left she goes. He can't convert his own try, but 5-0. Good start. The Chiefs won't be too happy about that. But we all know the Chiefs. They can switch a gear, and it is carnage. This is going to be a great match if these two sides play the attacking rugby. We know they can. It's a great day for it. It's beautiful and sunny here. There's a great big pass out to all that man, Corey Jane. Corey Jane, oh, Anscombe, brilliant tackle. And Bateman was looking up for that one for the pass. He couldn't get it. And the Chiefs have a touch of possession now. Here it is through Carballo. Pops a wobbly old one up to Kahui, who throws it backwards. And it's picked up in the end by the Chiefs. Looks like Afiaki. Here's Sam Kane off the back himself. Oh, good tackle on him. Here's Cruden on Piranara. Gets hammered. And Tukaratuma the same. Good defense here from the Hurricanes. Not really mostly renowned for that but it's a good start in that area here's Tumanga Allen Smith Barrett who's been good Eaton cutting back his side is Thrush good pass for him out to Sevilla now Sevilla pops it back to big Tumanga Allen and he will scream away what pace from the big man and what a try for the Hurricanes that is super stuff from the massive prop Tumanga Allen he is a big boy and he started it all back a couple of passes. Thrush did it, but Sevilla didn't really back himself at all there. 
wanted to look and feel for the pass. Tumanga Allen, not really concerned about passing it at all. He was going all the way. And no one really challenged him. This Carballo just sort of watched and then thought, shit, better go. Too late. No one was in sight. That left corner was dead empty. What a try. What a try from the big prop, Tumanga Allen. And a good start here, the Hurricanes. Making light work of this one at the moment. Here's Bone Barrett. Way out on the left. His kick is okay if it was windy. But there's no wind to drag that one back into the sticks. And it's 10-0. Two unconverted tries after just 13 minutes. The Chiefs haven't had much of the ball to speak of here. It's Cruden. Oh, he's hardly even been named as he kicks off again. Goes very deep into the 22. And again, the Hurricanes look to launch. Vito takes it to ground. And it's right in front of his sticks here, Vito. Here's a big pass out to Barrett. He looks to thump it away and clear some yards. Look at this chase from Sevilla. He's first man on the block and he smashes Anscombe. But a great pass here for Clark. The captain takes it up towards the 22. Gets taken down by Andre Taylor. And a good tackle. And it's here for Kane. Takes it off the back. Oh, gets smashed. Absolutely smashed. And he's gone backwards a couple of metres. What a tackle from Perinara. And here's Carballo now. The two halfbacks controlling the match. Great stuff out here. Here's Kahui. They're looking to the left. Cruden to Karatuma. Gets hit hard. And there's massive space in the middle here for Horrell. That was always going to happen. You saw the big holes. If they could keep it alive and keep in support. The Chiefs always looked like they would strike back there. There was room way to the left where they went here. To Karatuma and Cruden. But then when that closed, it did create a gap. Just didn't feel to touch, and Horrell, safe hands, as he started all with it to Kahui, they were intent on spreading it out to the left, not enough reward in defence for them though as they broke up, and Horrell scoring the try to get the Chiefs back in this game again now, and Anscombe, well last time we saw Anscombe on this series, he was disgraceful, Talking about Form 2, these two sides. The Hurricanes on their debut here. Their first appearance in the series is Anscombe's kick. Goes flying straight through the middle. It's 10-7. So yeah, the Chiefs, they're in their third appearance. They've had two wins. And uh, one of the few undefeated sides at the moment. Hurricanes on debut will look to end that. With their first appearance here as the kick goes way to the right. And who's there? Corey Jane. Great take from Corey Jane. And the Hurricanes are right on this through Bateman. Throws it out the back. Franks picks it up. Pops it back for Jane. Who gets taken. And a good tackle on the 22. Just about illegal really. Dumping him just about on his head. Not really what you want to see. As away come the Hurricanes again. Away to the left. Not the best pass. Smith cleans it up. Nice pass to Barrett. Who has been impressive on attack today. Bowden Barrett. They're right center field. Just outside the 22. Off the back they go. And they go sideways a touch. That's what you get when your halfback's not there. Here he is now though. Piranara. Great ball to Jane. Jane's going to go for the corner. And he will score the try. And that is hugely appropriate. Corey Jane. Such express speed on that right hand side. And it was... No chance at all. Look at this pass. Boom. Hit him on the burn. And no way for Cruden. That was a massive try. Look at the speed that Corey Jane took from this pass. Bang. Cruden was just caught a meter away from him. And he had no chance. Anskim couldn't cover 20 meters. And Jane is off to a good start here. The first appearance we've seen of him. And his teammates, really. It's a shame such a good player is always so injured. It's Barrett with a chance to make it. 17-7. 31 minutes gone. His kick is... Oh, he's not hit that nicely at all. And boy, oh boy. 15-7. to 
three unconverted tries. Well, the Hurricanes fans will be hoping that won't come back to haunt them. They've finally found a good first five in Bowdoin Barrett. His kicking is a bit off today as it's kicked off again from the Chiefs. Lavave gives it to Jane, who still put the express burners on again. Look at him go. Anscombe won't catch him. And what a try from Corey Jane straight off the kickoff. The man has come to play. And he has put on a show. That is one of the best tries you will see. Lavave picks it up. Look at that. Just puts the foot down. See you later, Lee. And then Anscombe, Horrell, no show. No show. The speedster. Corey Jane is back. Look at that acceleration. Backs himself to beat the two men converging on him. And splits it. And for another five-pointer. Who cares where you put it down? Because Barrett will probably miss. Well, we thought Corey Jane might get involved in this match. Don't know how good he would have been today, but he's come to play two tries from already. Here's Barrett's kick. Probably now that I've bagged him, he's going to nail it, and he does. Reply from Barrett to the commentator's curse. And it's 22 7. The Chiefs are really falling away without a trace here, but still only a couple scores, a couple tries. And they're back in this game. Cruden kicks off again to this left side. And nicely taken from Curbalo. And now he takes off, but Jane. Too fast for him covering in defense here. This is good defense here from the oh, from the Hurricanes. Here comes Hicka Elliott smashed. Big hit on Hicka Elliott. Oh, there was Jane. He's really in the match. He scores two blistering tries and then shuts down a try with a big shoulder to a big hooker. That looked like a try for all money. Time is up and they're going to kick it out, the Chiefs. They're behind by what 15 points and they've kicked it out on half time well that's surprising stuff surprising captaincy from Clark only a solid leader but I think he might have messed things up there the Hurricanes lead at half time by oh, 15 points I was just going to say a lot because it seems like a lot two tries for the Chiefs though, and they'll be right in this game 63% position that is a big chunk both sides a lot of offloads. The Chiefs, look at that, just about keeping up despite having half the ball and handing errors. It's been a fairly clean game. The Chiefs just with two and seven for the match has been pretty good. Six line breaks for the Hurricanes. They've looked pretty destructive, but the Chiefs, I fear, they're not far away from breaking this game apart and making it a real nail-biting second half. So here we go, it is second half action, Chiefs versus the Hurricanes, one off what if, special request for Corey Jane 10 and his player, that he's, well, I'm assuming he likes him, surely, and here he is, Jane, picks it up off the kickoffs and gives it to Barrett, he's having a good game as Jane, as we say that, speak of him, he puts Bowden Barrett into a big hole, and now here's Bateman, looking for that man, Jane, good pass, to Karatuma, good tackle, and it's taken to ground. Back at the 10 meter line. Here's Piranara. Short ball back for Vito. Oh, he's so strong. Victor Vito. Franks takes it to ground. It's slow progress here with the big boys for the Hurricanes. Thrush off the back. Thrush off the back. Gets the guys offside. He needs support with some. Oh, he had Vito. And he couldn't find him. Sevilla has been kept out of this game. Eaton, good ball up for Lavave. Are they looking for him? They are looking for him. Here he comes. It's Jane. Can't get through three men. Gives it to Barrett and a great offload. Here's Tumanga Allen. We know how he can burn it for the line. He's caught in a mall though. He needs some support from his buddies. And here they come. It's a good here. Look at this. Look at this driving mall here from the Hurricanes. Piranara. Off the back goes himself, Barrett. Oh, trying to set up Jane, and he had all the space in the world, too. A good rumble upfield from Tumanga Allen. Just that last pass going a bit too deep for Corey Jane. Looking for a hat-trick. What an achievement that would be. 
but it's Hicker Elliott who throws it straight to Thrush and he takes it down and takes the tackle of Afiaki and the Hurricanes look to retain position but they won't it's being turned over and Corbalo goes short and here's Kane double round beautifully with Ratulik he's getting chased by his opposite and it's going to be Tikaratuma on Eaton he smokes him smokes him like a barbecued fish and away goes Tikaratuma easy try last ditch effort there was from Eaton but he was never going to catch the flying winger here we go it was touch and go he didn't have much room to cover Eaton but he couldn't touch him and a great try from Tikaratuma and the Chiefs looking to get back into this match what a run here from Ratulik he took out the speedster Andre Taylor and gave it to his own speedster Tikaratuma and the Chiefs now will be iron up getting back into this match it's not too long to go now and they shouldn't be they shouldn't be counting out their chances here Vanskim can get this kick they'll be only eight points behind they still have 25 minutes and he nails it Anscombe as you'd expect eight points is the difference it's gonna be a good finish so the Chiefs well looking they're, they're warming up the Chiefs you have to say here's a kick off to the right again beautifully taken from Thrush and he's not had a good day of the passing his shields hasn't been much in the match but good pass here Oh, two among Allen gives it to Jane, and Jane will score the hat trick. Oh, the f the fans love it, the crowd love it here, and the fan favourite Corey Jane gets a hat trick. You wouldn't read about it. His return is highly successful, but two among Allen, what a run that man is having a storming match, and what a pass from a prop. Just about overcooked it. Jane Cruden to try to tackle him dead. Couldn't do it, but goodness me. Tumanga Allen. And sensational finish. And a hat trick for Corey Jane. Oh, they'll be loving this. Such a talented player. And look, what have we seen from Sevilla today? That is what the Hurricanes and the All Blacks have been missing here's Bone Barrett to add two more he'll make this gap 15 again that's a good kick and it is 15 points difference Barrett's come to life a bit more with his boot in the second half his running game was superb in the first 20 minutes to go the Chiefs may be struggling here now to keep this game well their winning record intact as Shields takes it off nice pass to Jane to Lovave oh yeah Lovave's got Jane with him he pops it on the inside oh and Cruden hits him heavy was that a shoulder that looked like a shoulder the Hurricanes will continue to launch Vito pops it back to oh Tumanga Allen the man is amazing here's Eaton looking for revenge Good pass out for Sevilla. Sevilla on Anscombe. He's going to go out. Piranara. Piranara. Piranara away. And Piranara scores. Hit enough to get away from Lee. And the Hurricanes are really smoking up the points here. No chance for Lee, the number eight. But goodness me. Eaton got his revenge on Tikaratuma. And then a great pass from Shields. He knew he didn't have the pace to do it. Look at this. Here it is. Over the head. Sevilla couldn't get rid of Anscombe. Which is a great effort from the fullback. The Piranara. He is a strong, explosive little halfback. And he got the job done. A super finish. And the Hurricanes are looking good to end their foes winning streak here on one off what if the point difference is now 20 make it 22 yes make it 22 12 minutes to go and the Hurricanes now have put it 
big dint in the hopes of the Chiefs. They looked like they were starting to get into their work, the Chiefs. They got pretty close. Just eight points behind at one point. But they've just been blown out of the water again. As the kick goes straight down. Straight down. Thrush. And there's Lavave again. Combining with Shields and Corey Jane. Into the tackle he goes, Lavave. He's been good. And Conrad Smith will play halfback. Big bullet pass out to Thrush. Good ball to Coles. Well, Dane Coles just puts on the afterburners and gets rid of Manu. Gives it to Conrad Smith. Back to Thrush. He throws it out the back door. Barrett picks it up. Where's the support? Franks. He's down there the pace. He gives it to Bateman. He knows it. Sevilla. Who's Sevilla got? No one. He's caught in a good tackle from Anscombe, who's had Sevilla's number today. Maybe the Chiefs have targeted the wrong player because Corey Jane has ripped them to shreds. Tumang Allen. Ooh, how good's he been? He takes it off the back of the ruck, as all good props do. He fires it to Eaton, who gives it away. Poor pass, giving it to Clark. And he gives it off to Lee, who's got some revenge to do on Perinara. Here's Kripalo. Good pass out there. All oh, this big space out here. Good run there from Horrell. Gives it to Cruden. And Jane smashes Cruden into the turf and turns him over. It's Hurricane's ball. That is a great play. Here's Piranara giving it to Barrett. Barrett thumps it ahead. Splitting the two in half. That is a good kick from Barrett. It's picked up though from Nanai Williams and he's exploding away. Shields hammers him. Gives it away to Ratalik. He gives it to Manu back inside for Messam who gives it away. Oh, everyone's having a go here. Kahui in the end takes it to ground. Couldn't keep up with those passes. Kerbalo to the left for Clark. His number's here for them. Oh, he cuts inside Cruden. Good play. He's done up Jane like a little rag doll, but he gets his revenge, Jane, along with Taylor. He's so fast, he was back in defense, and it's turned over from the Hurricanes. Here we go again, out to the left, Levave. He's got Sevilla, doesn't use him with a bad pass. And then I Williams picks up the loose ball. It's like cleaning up the kitchen. There's cookies all over the place. Carballo to Kane, out to the left. More space out here for Horrell. He's got it out to Cruden, who's been lurking out here all day. He gets smashed back inside to Kahui. Can he get it to Tikaratuma? No, he can't. Good defense from James Wing and his partners out there. And here's Piranara again. It sides end to end, side to side. Smith pops it over the top to Bateman. Severe looking for it. Oh, he gets hit hard on the 22. Where's the support coming? The Hurricanes, here it is. Here's Barrett, off the back he goes. Big pass, Vito, Smith, Smith, just cock held, beautifully thrush. Here's Jane for number four. Jane on Ritalik, he won't catch him, Ritalik, and Jane is too fast. He's got five, six, and seven on his tail, but no one can catch a flying 14. And it is four tries. He points to his back, number four. 41 to 14. The Chiefs have nailed their problem with the amount of points they've scored. It's 14. It's that man with the number on their back. Number 14, Corey Jane, has cut them up. Massively cut them up. He was far too fast. He smokes everyone in the back line. Don't worry about forwards. The Hurricanes, after that first couple of efforts, have looked for him all day long. And he's paid paid them back with four tries and this match will finish up here for a resounding victory for the Hurricanes nearly a hundred minutes gone here's Bowden Barrett's final play, the final kick right in front straight between the sticks another two points for Barrett who has looked much better in the second half, 43 to 14, the Chiefs their winning streak is gone, out the window with a hammering at the hands of the Hurricanes. What a performance from the Hurricanes. Their first match of the series, and boy, what an impression they have made. They are now one from one. The Chiefs, two from three. I'll be disappointed. But where did this come from? From the Hurricanes. They were, they were dominant. I don't think that is a strong enough word to how good they were today. 43 points for the Hurricanes, a huge amount of points. And two teams that 
a fairly evenly matched. The Chiefs would be probably considered the slightly better side, but they have been smashed here. Tries for the Hurricanes. Tumanga Allen with one. Piranara and Barrett with one each. And Corey Jane. The story of the match. This match requested by Corey Jane 10. It's probably the man himself. He'll be proud, maybe. It would be awesome if it was. Barrett was... Well, he got over 50%. Four from seven. The Chiefs, well, they kept themselves in the match by a thread for a wee while. Tries with Tikaratuma and Horrell. Anscombe, two from two from the boot. He was all right. Good on defense. He closed down Sevilla, but couldn't handle Corey Jane. The Hurricanes had all the ball, 67%. Territory was fairly even, but look at those handling errors. 15 to the Hurricanes. They were a bit dodgy at times with some passes, but the luck of the bounce of the ball fell their way. Just two from the Chiefs. If they had more ball, they could have been in this match. That's what could have been. That's what it's all about. One off what if today. It's all about what's happened on the day, and this is what's happened. The Hurricanes have demolished the Chiefs. 14 line breaks, too. Look at that. Nine for the Chiefs, but they only managed two tries. That is quite remarkable as well. But that is all we have for you. Hope you've enjoyed the match, everyone, especially Corey Jane 10. Hope you've enjoyed this and your favourite player. I hope he's your favourite player. Scoring a marvellous four tries to round off the match. So thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed it. Remember, if you like the series and want to see more, give it a like and a fave. Share it with your friends who like the rugby. Everyone loves rugby, don't they? And subscribe so you don't miss any other matches, especially if you've requested one, which if you have or want to, leave it in the comments below and I'll play it out for you and bring it here for you on one-off what if for you to watch your series, whatever you want. So we'll see you soon, guys, wherever we may be next time. Thank you all for watching and take care.